Hey everyone, welcome back to my videos. I wanted to do a video today where I could talk to you about some of the best free Ivy League courses offered online. I didn't recently realize until recently how many amazing courses were free online from Ivy League schools. And I wanted to share with you today some of the best free Ivy League courses that you can use whether you're in computer science, just learning programming or curious about it. This one that I will do is going to focus more so on the tech side of things, but I'll definitely, if you're interested, make another one of free Ivy League courses for business, marketing, all of that, because there really is an array of courses that you can take for free. And a lot of these actually you can do, you can get a certificate for, which is kind of cool. So also if I miss one that you have taken or have heard amazing things about, make sure to let me know down in the comments. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first one on the list, which I'm sure so many of you have heard about because it's really an amazing, amazing course that's free. I recently just started to enroll in it. I haven't fully delve into it yet because it's one that you can just kind of go at your own pace. So I need to find a little bit more time to do it, but I definitely started looking into it and I think it's going to be a really great course, which is Harvard's CS50 Computer Science or Intro to Computer Science. And this course teaches you how to really think in a way that is best suited for computer science and programming, as well as how to solve algorithms effectively. It's a beginner's course, it's an introduction course, learn at your own pace. And I think it's a really great way to kind of get into computer science. Um, for me, especially coming from a bootcamp background, I think having more of a deeper understanding of the computer science realm is really important, even if you're someone who is self-taught. So I think this course is a great way to, to gain that understanding that maybe if you are someone who doesn't come from a typical computer science background will benefit by learning a lot of these different topics or things like that. Also, I think it's kind of cool for anyone who's very motivated by certifications. If you finish with a good score, the nine problem sets that are given to you, you will actually be able to earn a certificate through this course. So while it's not mandatory, it's a great way if you are motivated by certificates or you want to kind of up your game and put something on your resume like it's a huge thing to have Harvard School CS50 Intro to Computer Science on your resume. Okay, the next one on the list is as well by Harvard. It's CS50 Computer Science for Business Professionals. So this is for anyone who is say a product manager or still in a technical role, but maybe not as technical as say an actual developer. And this gives people like product managers a way that they can best continue to understand technology, uh, not only from a speaking standpoint, but really what's going on under the hood, I guess you could say. It can also really help uh, product managers with their technical decisions and their product roadmap, different things like that, having a better understanding of computer science, at least the very basics of it. It doesn't have to be, you know, this complex thing, but I think the more you know, the better off you are for your decision making. Okay, third on the list is by Princeton University and it is Algorithms Part 1. This is a two-part series, the first one, Part 1. It's an introduction to algorithms that starts really at the basics and really teaches you how to best think about solving algorithms. For a lot of people, solving algorithms isn't a way of thinking that comes instantly or naturally. So having some tips and some guidance as to how to best go about solving them, especially useful if you are someone who is going to be interviewing for a tech company or really needs to up their algorithm skills. But even if you're not solving algorithms on a day-to-day -day basis, I think having that skill, I know having that skill of being able to think differently in that way is so important. So this is a great course to kind of delve more into that. And then if you like it, you can do part two. This course, okay, this course I have not taken, but I'm very interested in it. And I've heard from a few of my friends, it's gotten really good reviews. And that's again by Princeton University that partnered with Coursera and it's Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. And this course goes into things like how does Bitcoin work? What are cryptocurrencies? What is Bitcoin? Like really starts from the basics and teaches you from the ground up properly what is Bitcoin. Uh, for me, I'm someone who doesn't know a lot about it personally and I'm really interested in it more. So I think this is a great way to have a better understanding as to different currencies and things out there that are kind of interesting. Okay, the next one is University of Pennsylvania and they have a great course for web programming. It's based around JavaScript and it teaches you the fundamentals of web development and really how to best become a web developer. Obviously it's very in demand being a web developer and the skills can transfer into so many other development areas that you can build upon that having a basic understanding of JavaScript can really help further your career and also to your side projects. If you're someone who wants to build a company or build a side project, JavaScript is essential. The last one on the list is by Columbia University and it is artificial intelligence. Obviously AI is a huge topic of interest to so many people, including myself, but I feel like there is so much information out there about AI and it's one of those things where you have to sift through what is real and what is fake information and 
how like what does this all mean and having a course by an ivy league school such as columbia university teach it to you in a proper way that you most effectively understand from the very beginning and basic technologies of ai and have a good understanding of it really gives you a solid foundation as to your knowledge for ai those are my top six courses i would suggest for anyone who is looking to try out a free ivy league school course especially for technology and coding so if you have any other ones that you have done before, let me know down in the comments. I'm very interested to hear. I am so happy that I recently kind of discovered all of these courses. Even though I haven't taken all these courses, the, these are the ones that I've really, really looked into and I've heard so many amazing things about and are definitely on my bucket list to take one at a time. I'm gonna start with the first one, CS50 Computer Science Intro and go from there just because I think it's really, even if you are have been in the industry for a while or just to brush up on your skills and you can always learn something new. Thank you all for watching my video and I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone.